everything is positive. We're going to do that also when we talk about stretching and shrinking. We're going to assume everything is positive. Because if things were negative for stretching and shrinking, the negative essentially does a thing all by itself. And then the number does the stretching and shrinking part. And so the negatives inside the function or outside the function do something that we refer to as reflecting or as I mentioned, flipping. And so that's what we're going to get to next. I'm waiting to see if everybody stops scribbling. Okay. So for instance, if we have a square root of x, we know what that looks like. It looks like this. What if we do negative square root of x? What is that going to do to the graph? What? It's going to reflect it over the x-axis or flip it down, and now it's going to look like this instead of the other way. So basically it took all the y values I had before and made them all negative, or the opposite of what they were before. And that is, again, a vertical thing because it was outside the function. What if I put the negative inside? So instead of, it's going to be the square root of negative x. What is that going to do to the function? What? Go ahead and speak up. It reflects it over the y-axis. Now my last class said, but you can't take the square root of a negative number. Negative x is not necessarily a negative number. It is the opposite of whatever x was. So if x was originally a negative number, then negative x is going to be a positive number. And so it is still possible that you can end up with a function here. And in this case, it's going to reflect over the y-axis. Notice when we put it inside the function, so inside the square root, it made a horizontal change. It reflected over the y-axis. Whichever direction it is. This way. Now we're going to look at a function that you guys have not seen, may not have seen before, and I don't expect that you know it, but it's the best, one of the greatest functions for doing the difference between vertical and horizontal stretching and shrinking. So this is your function that's called